The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This was my number one favorite young adult book in 2017. I've talked about this novel with adults and high schoolers and middle schoolers, and we've not been able to keep it on the shelves in the library. It's slated to be a movie soon as well, so if you haven't picked up this great book and read it, pick up a copy if you can find one. Star Carter is 16, caught between two worlds. She lives in an urban neighborhood that is poor, unders underserved, and what most people would describe as the ghetto. But she attends school at an elite prep academy in a wealthy white suburb where she is dating an attractive young man who is white. Her friends at home give her a hard time for leaving them behind, and Star is hesitant to let kids at school know where she really lives. One afternoon, Star and her childhood best friend, Khalil, are pulled over by a police officer close to home. Khalil reaches for a comb, and the white cop shoots him dead in front of Star. What follows is all too familiar. The black community goes up in arms, demanding justice only to be met by a blue wall. The cops and prosecutors have little interest in investigating the incident. Khalil's name is slandered in the press, and Star's neighborhood becomes a battle zone between protesters and the police. At school, Star is hesitant to speak up, but what Star comes to realize is that she knows what she knows can help break the tension between the two worlds, if only she can find the right way to speak out. Author Angie Thomas tells the story through Star's first-person narrative. Thomas takes a glaring look at injustice and police brutality and forces the reader to consider race in America. Give this book to every high school and middle school student you know. It's that good. Expect a rousing discussion as a result of the topics covered in this novel. It's a rallying cry for action on a topic that has plagued America since its inception. This is the best of a bunch from a recent list of titles on similar topics. Uh, see also Jason Reynolds' All American Boys, Tony Medina's I Am Alfonso Jones, or the nonfiction title Ta-Nehisi Coates' Between the World and Me.